Talking about drones. They can easily be flown over large crowds, and most radars can't detect them. And experts say that makes them a real risk. NBC's Carrie Sanders is on the National Mall in D.C. with more for us. Good morning, Carrie. Well, good morning, guys. Remember a little bit more than a year ago, a drone landed on the White House lawn. Fortunately, it did not have any explosives strapped to it. But increasingly, ISIS has been telling people to take drones like this and place bombs underneath. That's why the Secret Service is going to be spending a lot of time today, tomorrow, and into the future looking to the skies overhead here in Washington. The folks at the Special Forces, they say that these drones strapped with bombs, well, they've nicknamed them flying IEDs. Fast, nimble, and because they're mostly plastic, stealth. When strapped with a bomb, a worst case scenario, especially with hundreds of thousands of people all gathered in one spot, like at the inauguration, the Super Bowl, or the New York City Marathon. This is a real threat. This is not theoretical. Definitely. Well, we're seeing it in Iraq. I don't see why it couldn't happen here. Declassified U.S. military briefs made available to NBC News say in part, in just the last two months, Coalition forces have observed, on average, about one adversary drone each day in and around Mosul. A company called Department 13 is now in a technical race, building drone countermeasures. ISIS put out a manual on how to arm a drone and how to deal with countermeasures the U.S. may deploy. Countermeasures are highly complicated. Deploy a net and capture the bomb-carrying drone in mid-flight, but then, experts warn, it falls to the ground right where people are gathered. Just detecting an incoming drone exceedingly problematic. On radar, drones look like birds. One solution? Listen. High-tech parabolic mics can hear a drone about three-quarters of a mile away. John Franklin is the chief scientist at Drone Shield. How do you differentiate the sound of a drone from a bird, an airplane, and all the other things that are out there in the environment? You're smiling. Yeah, that's the secret sauce. So that's, that's what we spend our time uh, figuring out how to do. Once detected, a directional signal on what looks like a ray gun takes control, forcing the drone to neutral territory. Does it make you say, I, I wouldn't go to the inauguration? It's not something um, I, w I would feel safe at. Department 13 electronically sniffs airwaves for Wi-Fi and GPS signals. Powerful computers then hack in, allowing the good guys to take full control of an intruder. I was the bad guy. At this point, my drone has flown off. I still look like I have a normal controller here. There's no indication that anything has happened, but my drone has done what is known in the industry as a flyaway, where I have lost complete control of it. I have no idea where it's gone. It's just gone. The U.S. Secret Service didn't want to talk about what they're doing on camera other than to say that they are ready for whatever enters the restricted airspace here. Right now where I'm standing, they're listening for the propellers on these drones. They're looking for the signals and they say that they have some other technologies that they're using, which understandably remain top secret. Guys, back to you. As they should. As they should. Carrie, thank you very much.